Good day one what fly squad welcome back to my Thursday trip report and if you're new to my channel be sure to hit the subscribe and bell buttons now. I've just landed at Melbourne airport on board QF 674 from Adelaide. The plane parked at terminal 1 and my connecting flight QF 29 to Hong Kong departs from terminal 2. It's a short walk as all terminals at Melbourne are stick together which makes it really convenient for transit. Goodbye, thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, see you later. Thank you. My luggage is checked all the way through to Hong Kong and I got my QF29 boarding pass in Adelaide so I can skip the check-in here and head straight to security screening and immigration. Our flight from Adelaide was slightly delayed so unfortunately I skipped the lounges and headed straight to the gate. Our aircraft to Hong Kong today is a 15-year-old Qantas Airbus A330-300 VHQPB and as you can see it's still wearing the good old Qantas livery. All Qantas A330-300 have been refurbished over the past 3 to 4 years. 787 and A330-200 have slightly different seat features. Hello. Good morning. Hi. My seat today is 58k. I booked my flight 11 hours before departure so I couldn't select my favourite 41A which has a wall behind it so that I can recline as much as I want. Anyhow, no matter where you seat, you get a pillow, a blanket and a headphone. Your seat width is about 17 and a half inches and your seat pitch is 31 inches. Next to us is QF79 pushing back for Tokyo Narita. Again, whether you're at 41A or 58K, all seats have those following seat features. A large touchscreen TV with a USB port. Under it, a literature pocket where you can put small items like earphone, passport, pen, blah blah blah. And then of course you have a tray table which you can fold it in half and move it back and forth. Further down you have a seat pocket with two pouches. The leg room is adequate. For your information I'm 178cm tall or 5'10". I've almost forgotten again, but there's a universal power socket underneath the seat. There's only one between every two seats. Qantas long haul economy is very special as every seat comes with this needed footrest. The headrest is adjustable which is always appreciated, however I think it's a bit firm and the sides where you can fold it up aren't big enough to prevent your head from falling onto your neighbour's shoulder. Must be placed into the overhead lockers. To assist with boarding, we ask you to move into your seats as quick as possible, leaving the aisles clear behind you. Once again, to assist with the long-time departure, we ask you to move into your seats, leaving the aisles clear for customers to come through behind you. Thank you. Thank you, cabin crew. Please prepare the cabin for our departure. At this very moment, I thought I'm having a spare seat next to me, but it turned out the last two who got onto the plane is my neighbour. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome aboard this qualified QF29 to Hong Kong. My name is Tony Chow and I'm your customer service manager. Joining me on the onboard management team is your customer service supervisor, Haley Andrews. On behalf of the captain and the crew, it's our pleasure having you with us on this flight to Hong Kong today. Whether you're a Qantas frequent flyer or flying with us to our partner airline, we'd like to extend 
A warm welcome to you all. As you're setting in, please place all large bags in the overhead lockers and smaller bags under the seat in front of you. If you sit in an exit row, all bags must be placed into the overhead lockers. Please check that you're seated in the seat that's allocated on your boarding pass. It's now time to prepare for our departure, so please ensure your seatbelt is now securely fastened, your seat is in the upright position, and your tray table is stowed away. If you sit in a seat or an exit row with an in-arm entertainment screen, please make sure that it's stowed away until the seatbelt sign has been switched off. A reminder for those customers in business, please also ensure your sash belt is also fastened with your seatbelt. If you're in economy, the main cabin, the small upper literature pocket below the entertainment screen cannot be used for our takeoff or landing. Your entertainment headset may be used if it's inserted into the armrest. However, please remove headsets and USB cords from the seat back so it's not attached for our takeoff today. At this stage, all electronic devices, including mobile phones, must be now set to flight mode. More handheld devices may be used for takeoff, but please, ladies and gentlemen, put away laptop computers and other large electronic devices away. Radio transmitters and any devices without flight mode cannot be used at any time during the flight. The crew is handing out menu cards and here's a quick look to it. There are three lunch options after takeoff and two snacks options before landing. severely damage your device and may be a fire hazard. Just ask one of my crew member who will be able to recover your device. For your safety, we don't allow anyone, including children, to sleep on the floor. In a few moments, the crew will commence the in-flight service this afternoon. So I'd like you to sit back, relax and enjoy the Qantas hospitality. One thing I like about those seats is that the recline angle is great and super comfortable, but it's too great that the person behind loses personal space if he or she doesn't recline. The TV becomes unwatchable unless you adjust it. Access to the aisle also becomes harder. Thankfully, the leg room isn't really affected. I will include quite a lot of outside footage today because it's simply stunning. 
A bottle of water has just been handed out to every passenger. Following that, special and pre-order meals are given out, and then ordinary meal service begins. I got a chicken chow mein. It comes with a lemon cheesecake and bread. Or Qantas calls it garlic and herb focaccia. For drinks, I got a can of lemonade. Everything on the table was absolutely tasty. The focaccia was heaps better than the ordinary big fat powdery bun you get on other airlines. The cheesecake was something unique to have in economy class, and the chow mein was really good. The amount of chicken was very generous. Overall, a very delightful meal on board Qantas. For some reason, everyone who got lemonade asked for an extra one, so I followed them and asked for one more as well. The crew happily gave it to me. Airbus A330 300 Ventry uh, at the rear galley. It's not very tiny here, it's good. This compartment door can't be closed, it's broken. We've got a mirror here and then one car. After the meal service, the crew came back for a hot beverage service. I got peppermint tea along with two fan tails chocolate. The stories are printed specifically for Qantas. I will show you the in-flight entertainment system. It's really user-friendly, you can just swipe it around like a smartphone. By the way, Coat Pursuit is a really bloody good and underrated movie. There's a good selection of old and new movies. The flight map system unfortunately isn't interactive, but every information you need is clearly shown on the front page. Inside the seat pocket, there's a magazine and a safety card. The cabin crew come through the cabin about every 30 minutes to refill your water bottle. They also hand out ice cream and apples. The snack service began about 90 minutes before landing, and I really liked and appreciate how the crew just now explained the options in details. I got steamed pork buns and a cup of peppermint tea again. Unfortunately, unlike the char mein, the pork buns weren't tasty and the dough was dry. However, it wasn't too bad, I finished it anyway. and foreign currency to support programs for children in developing countries. To contribute, please place your change in the UNICEF envelope or the satchel as the crew moves through the cabin to collect your donation. On behalf of Qantas, UNICEF and my team today would like to thank you for your kind donation. This is an important announcement. After any international travel, there will be a small chance that you've been exposed to communicable disease. If you're feeling unwell, particularly with fever, diarrhea or vomiting, it's important for your own health and for the protection of others that you bring this to the attention of a crew member. <laughs> to comply with Hong Kong custom requirements, if you're in possession of currency or bearer negotiable instruments with a total value larger than 120,000 Hong Kong dollars, that's 120,000 Hong Kong dollars, you must fill in a declaration form and it's declared to a custom officer using the red channel. Decoration forms are available from the ground staff or prior to immigration clearance. Once again, thank you for your time. At least 30 minutes uh, earlier than scheduled. 
hopefully we'll have you off uh, the aeroplane at uh, 4 45 pm. Weather conditions in Hong Kong at the moment is fine. Can't be overcast, 32 degrees Celsius, light winds. The captain is Paul Hutchinson, second officer Robert Butcher. Myself, we'd like to extend our sincere thanks to you all for choosing to fly with us today. We hope that you've enjoyed the ride to Hong Kong with us. Thank you and good afternoon. Please now put all laptop computers and other large personal electronic devices away and make sure your bags are in the overhead lockers or under the seat in front of you. A reminder, at this stage if you can't find your electronic devices, it's important you don't move your seat as this could severely damage your device and may be a fire hazard. Please contact a crew member who will be able to recover your device. Once again, if you're in economy, the main cabin, the small upper literature pocket below the entertainment screen cannot be used for our landing. Your entertainment headset may be used if it's inserted into the armrest. However, please remove all headsets and USB cords from the seat back so it's not attached for our landing. If you're sitting in an exit row, all bags must be placed into the overhead lockers. Place your seat, footrest, entertainment screen and tray table back to the original position. And finally, make sure your window shade is now up and your seatbelt is firmly fastened. Thank you, cabin crew. Please assist in preparing the cabin for our landing. The cabin supervisor is saying farewell to the frequent flyers on board. She and a few other crew spent most of the flight having conversations with the passengers and it's really nice of them doing so. We're now slowing down in order to descend and enter the busy and crowded Hong Kong airspace. So let's conclude this awesome flight with Qantas right here, right now. The flight attendants are very welcoming during boarding. They have great smiles on their face. I myself had a very nice conversation with the customer service manager and I really like these kinds of interaction between flight crew and passengers. One thing I particularly like about our customer service manager is that he speaks really clear and loud. Sometimes you can't hear what the flight attendants or cockpit crew are saying through the announcement. The crew just make the flight so much better and you see this quite often on Qantas but not other airlines. They are actually really genuinely interested about your trip and reasons for flying. Now to the seats, it was comfortable, the recline is great and the leg room is fine. I really like the native footrest which I actually used as a storage space today. As for the food, the chicken chow mein and cheesecake were amazing, however the pork bun was average. Overall, it was a great flight with Qantas, the spirit of Australia. Thanks so much for watching this Qantas trip report and here we are One World Fly Squad. Share your journey with me with this hashtag and please don't forget to like, comment and share this video. And it's not too late to subscribe now if you haven't done so. Your subscription will motivate me to make more videos like this one. Thanks again and I'll see you again next week. Thursday 12pm Hong Kong time or Thursday 2pm Melbourne time. See ya. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hong Kong, where the local time is 4.48pm. With your safety in mind, please stay in your seat until the aircraft has come to complete stop and the captain has switched off the seatbelt sign. If your mobile phone is within reach, you may now deactivate flight mode. 
Please take care when opening the overhead lockers, as bags may have moved and could fall out. Before leaving, please remember to check your seat and seat pocket for personal belongings. Once the sleeper sign is off, you'll be leaving through the forward left-hand door. Just a reminder, smoking and the use of e-cigarettes is not permitted unless there is a designated smoking area in the terminal. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, for your safety and for the safety of others, please remain seated until the seatbelt sign has been switched off. On behalf of Qantas, the captain and your crew today, I'd like to extend a thank you for flying with us. For those of you who are from Hong Kong, we'd like to welcome you home. For those customers who are visiting, may wish you a pleasant stay, and for those who are travelling further, a safe onward journey. Thank you and have a good evening, everyone. Yeah, see you, see you, right? Welcome home, yeah? Thanks. Bye, yeah.